What's up everybody, this is Crash from GBR and this is a review for Deus Ex Mankind Divided, available now for PC, PS4, and Xbox One. It is developed by Eidos Montreal and it is the direct sequel to the previous Deus Ex game, Human Revolution. If you haven't played Human Revolution, I highly recommend it. However, Mankind Divided does have a video that recaps everything from Human Revolution to catch everybody up. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is a first person action stealth RPG with third person cover mechanics. And what this means is that each player can choose how they want to play the game. Do you go in guns blazing or do you find alternate routes to come up behind enemies and take them out silently? It's entirely up to you. And what this also means is that although most of the game takes place in first person, when you take cover the camera shifts to a third person view. And this view enables you to easily move from cover to cover unseen. So let's get into the review for Deus Ex Mankind Divided. First up is content. Mankind Divided is a single player only game where the main story will take you anywhere between 20 and 30 hours depending on how you play the game. And these hours aren't exact, it all depends on the player and the choices they make throughout the game and you will be making a ton of choices in Mankind Divided as the entire game is all about the choices you make. So there is a main story within Deus Ex Mankind Divided and how you tackle that story is up to you. The game takes place in the near future where humans have become mechanically augmented and you play as an augmented Interpol agent. And these augments will affect different parts of your body which will enable you to do different things. Some augmentations will affect your strength or your movement speed, others will affect your sight or your hacking skills. What you choose to unlock is entirely up to you. And many of these augmentations lean towards either stealth or combat, so when you have the chance to unlock these, you have to take into consideration of how you're playing the game. Deciding what weapons to use also plays a role in stealth versus combat. Each weapon can be customized to your liking. If you go into your inventory, you can add on or change things such as your muzzle scope, lasers, firing rate, and ammo type. And once this customization is done within your inventory, you have the ability to change anything on the fly. This offers a quick way to change your gun loadout for any particular situation. So Deus Ex Mankind Divided is all about exploration, and this also factors into stealth versus combat. Once upgraded, you can hack your way past most barriers and doors but this risks setting off alarms. There are a ton of interior places to explore in Deus Ex Mankind Divided, and most of them have alternate routes which you can get in. You can either hack your way in or search around and find a vent to crawl through and make your way in through the back way. Some of these back entrances will require your augmentations to be upgraded. So once again, you have to carefully choose which augmentations to unlock. When you do make your way into a new hidden area, you may find something that will help you throughout the campaign. This may be a computer you can hack that holds information such as key codes to doors that are scattered throughout the areas. You may find parts for crafting or credits, or you may find a pocket diary that just sheds some light on some events that are occurring within the city. This just makes the exploration in Deus Ex Mankind Divided worthwhile rather than tedious. You can also find other objects which will unlock levels in the other mode in Deus Ex Mankind Divided, as well as triangles which can be scanned with your phone to unlock production material. Which brings us into the conversation system within the game. So you're going to come across many characters throughout your travel within the world of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. And these characters can be dealt with throughout the main campaign or through the many side quests that you'll find. And within all these conversations that you're going to have with these characters, you're going to be given choices of what to say to them or what not to say to them. And this is going to affect how the game plays out. Say the wrong thing and an NPC might pull a gun on you. Say the right thing and he might give you a code to access a door. Throughout the main story, you're going to have to deal with some characters. But the side quest, you can choose whether or not to help them and how far you're willing to go to help them. Regardless of who you're talking to, whether it be a main mission character or side mission character, what you say to them may change the game drastically. There is a new mode in Mankind Divided called Breach, which is essentially an enter the matrix mode. 
You will enter a machine where you will take control of a virtual avatar to hack computer networks. The gameplay consists of all the gameplay elements from the main game, but it takes place in a virtual world. This mode consists of levels that become harder as you progress throughout the breach mode, and it is essentially an arcade version of Deus Ex. Leaderboards are kept to check stats against other players, and it's supposed to be continually updated with new events. So nothing you do in the single player campaign mode carries over to the breach mode. You will begin breach mode as a brand new character and naturally level up as you progress throughout the game and by opening up booster packs. And like most other games nowadays with booster packs, they are completely random and you never know what you're going to get. You can also buy booster packs with credits you earn throughout playing the game, but once again, these are also going to be completely random. And these random items can be anything from common items to extremely rare items. The last mode is Jensen Stories, and these are spots for future DLC. The one that came with the game was called Desperate Measures, and this gives you a glimpse into one of the events that happened inside of the main campaign. These will be nice additions to the main campaign as they will offer answers to a lot of the events that happen throughout the campaign that you don't get a chance to actually play through. I played the Desperate Measures add-on Guns Blazing and it took me just about an hour to complete. Next up is quality. And always up first is graphics. So although you will travel to some other locations throughout the story, the main game takes place in the city of Prague. And within that city, there's five areas that you can travel to at any time. Each of these areas is its own distinct hub world. And you can reach these locations by traveling on the underground metro. The artistic design within the city of Prague is off the charts. The artist did an amazing job of portraying a city in turmoil. You'll see police battling helpless augmented victims or come across a couple of hobos talking about how hard it is to survive. One area might contain high-end retail stores, while the next area may contain the slums and the red light district. But all of these have a futuristic twist on the city of Prague. And this twist is simply a stunning look. While there isn't a day-night cycle within Deus Ex Mankind Divided, the time of day will change throughout the story. And within this change, the environment will change also. This makes the world feel alive, and because you have to travel to and from these places many times, it keeps each area feeling fresh and new. While most of the game looks nice, sharp, and detailed, you will come across some NPCs that lack this graphical fidelity. This isn't everyone, and it's not the main characters that you're going to interact with, but it's just some of the NPCs that you'll be walking around with, and you'll notice that their faces just look a little bit off. The main characters you do come in contact with are well done, varied and unique, and you'll find that you may initially like or hate someone just by their look alone. Lighting in this game is also done particularly well. While the daytime levels can look rather flat, it's the nighttime and indoor levels that are the standout. Next up is sound. But you? You, I do not know. Could be, I'm not important. Oh, please. Have you seen yourself in a mirror lately? Besides, I have a healthy curiosity. So there's plenty of different levels of sound going on in the world of Mankind Divided. At some point you'll have music, sound effects, ambient sounds, and conversations going on all at the same time. Yet you could still hear every sound properly as it is portrayed within the environment. The conversation you're hearing might be down an alley to your left. The music might be coming from the strip club down the road ahead of you. And the sound effect might be the sound of your shotgun going off as you're trying to fend off enemies. Yet with all these occurring at the same time, you still have an exceptional sense of spatial awareness just from the sounds alone. Individual sounds sound like you think they would. Each gun sounds different and more menacing depending on which one you're using. And punching somebody in the face with a robot fist sounds like they just got hit by a freight train. The voice acting in this game is expertly done. 
Each character that you come in contact with that you're able to conversate with sounds like they look. And each voice actor's portrayal of their character hit the mark. My only gripe with the voice acting is the lip syncing issues. As you find during conversation, each of the characters suffers from bad ventriloquist syndrome. Which brings us to the game's soundtrack. This is something that I absolutely love from Human Revolution and it's no different in Mankind Divided. The soundtrack is very unique and it fits the Deus Ex universe perfectly. Next up, controls. So first off, there's plenty of control options to fit every player's needs. The game has four different button layouts to choose from, as well as the standard options for access, inversion, and sensitivity. The first person view controls feel weighty and responsive, yet when you first pull out your gun and look down the iron sight, you might feel a sense of stiffness. As this game doesn't have as much gun sway or movement like other first person shooters you might be used to. So the game seamlessly switches from first person to third person when you snap in the cover with the push of a button. And from this view you have all the options of first person view except you can move from cover to cover and have a tactical advantage by seeing what's around the corners. You can also move from cover to cover manually or you can look towards an area, push a button and the game will move to that area for you. The snap in the cover feels nice and responsive and it is easy to get in the cover and easy to get back out. It's a very nice system using both first and third person views. Last in the quality category is performance. So throughout my entire time playing the game I suffered no major issues. I did have the occasional sound drop out here and there as well as the occasional frame drops. There is also a significant amount of screen tearing this seems like it's only an issue as you run throughout the city. But these are only minor issues and didn't affect my overall experience with the game. Which brings us to delivery. So with Deus Ex Mankind Divided you get a great action stealth RPG that continues the story from Human Revolution. You're thrown into a living, breathing city that changes with every action that you make. And you can decide to take different actions on multiple playthroughs. On top of the lengthy single player story, there is also the breach mode. However, I did find this mode to become stale fast, but I'm curious to see what other people think about it. So I rate games on a buy now, buy later, or never buy. This is a buy now. I had an amazing experience playing through it the first time and I can't wait to get back into the city. Except this time I'll be trying to make my way through the city without anyone noticing me. So if you like the review, maybe subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And until I can figure out how to get rid of the thumbs down button, you can give me one of those. Till next time, keep on gaming.